Hello guys, uh, welcome to my fifth tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I, I'm going to show you how to communicate between uh, multiple clients. So here we have a regular Chrome window and then this is the debugger. And uh, the third window is the uh, incognito mode. So the reason you're seeing three windows like this is because they have a uh, separate cache so I can log in uh, with three different users and show you the communication. So here I'm logging as John, here as Robert and here is Mary. So if I click on uh, Mary and I say hello, once I click here on John it should prompt up hello and then I say hey how are you? And I guess I'm good. And here I can say to Robert and you. And Robert can say fine as well. So the way we achieve this is um, uh, everything is currently on the client. There's nothing really persistent in this case when it comes to the database. Same as before, so we only have connections and uh, the person table. So to begin with, I'm going to start with a uh, whole module, which I just imported forms module so we can use the ng model. Now in the, the user class that I have from previous tutorials, I added a messages property, which is basically array of messages and the messages has the content and the boolean to show if it's from me or from somebody else me in this case whoever the person is logged in uh, so there would be for the objects classes that i changed now the structure this is basically uh, simple kind of like bootstrap layout that i used some of the bootstrap classes so we have uh, the first part would be just online users that's from tutorial tutorial four and then the checkbox uh pardon chat box uh, we have a, a selected user and then uh, based upon the selected user i'm gonna generate the messages from the message properties from the messages properties that's part of the user class. Selected user is uh, set here on uh, click. So we have a list of users and every time somebody clicks, it's gonna set the selected user to the user clicked on. So it will display the name and then the messages. And uh, this ng model is basically uh, the current message you're typing in, in the text area and in models to uh, this guy right here, which is just a string. So we have uh, groups of messages and the whole CSS structure is uh, set on here. So feel free to look all of this and uh, customize what we want. This is just kind of like simple for demo purposes. And uh, basically the next, the only other thing that I didn't cover is uh, scroll height. This only does uh, whenever there's a new message, uh, scroll to the bottom of the div. So like this. So you see how automatically scrolls down here, even if there's a new message, it scrolls back. So every time we click a button for sending a message, I'm invoking the send uh, message invoke, which I'm here checking in the message is uh, um, basically empty string or no, then I'm returning. If not, I'm invoking a function and I'm passing the connection ID of the selected user and the message object. And uh, right after that, I'm uh, pushing the, the message that I just sent to the to list of my messages and then I'm making the current ng model that we track the from text area to empty string again because we just sent a message. 
and so it clears it out. So let's take a look at this function. It looks very simple, right? So we passed connection ID of the person we're sending to, and then uh, of the selected user, and uh, then I'm passing the message, which is just a string. And here I'm using notice of using a clients a client connection ID. So it's basically going to send to the specific connection ID. And I'm going to say, uh, talk to a handler, send message response, and send the my connection ID and uh, the message content. So this uh, person, that means the selected user now, that is going to receive my connection ID and, uh, and my message. So in our listener, uh, we are taking the connection ID and uh, here I'm doing something like uh, a bit more complex but not really, it's kind of like hard to think about it but like if you put this uh, in your own code and kind of play play around with it, uh, it's going to make sense uh, but basically I'm saying receiver is the user um, so I put the selected user, right? so the selected user that I originally selected is going to uh, yeah, he's gonna get communicated from the server and uh, it's gonna come into here right so the receiver who is the selected user is gonna get found by connection ID so now I'm grabbing the user object and I'm uh, I'm basically pushing the message but here I'm saying if the message is raised now just uh, instantiate it so that's how it works. Essentially, um, you send a message, you check for the message if it's on blank, you invoke a function, in the meantime, you add a message to your messages array. And uh, here, the other user is receiving the message, and then the message gets pushed on uh, the that user's uh, message list. So yeah, that's how it works. Um, I hope that it made sense and uh, feel free to ask anything. Uh, thank you and I hope uh, you have a good day.